Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing on this fine Monday evening? This completely normal, insignificant day. <laughs> It is me, Whitney, and Tenille is getting himself over here so we can go ahead and get all set up. Because it is time for the Pokemon Day. Definitely here to escape the fireworks. Fair enough. <clears throat> it honestly seems like it might be raining again here soon which means it will be nice and unlikely that people will be launching fireworks. Uh-huh. Which is good. All right. Whoop, here we go. Oh, God, what the? Webcam. Webcam. We we webcam. Hello? Hello? Are there any webcams in here? Um, hello? It broke. <laughs> the webcam broke. Um. Okay, there hey, we go. Hey, there we go. Alright. I had to turn it off and turn it back on again. Alright, there we go. Hello, we're here, and it's time for Pokemon. Pokemon days, playing Pokemon Moon. It's been a couple of weeks because we've been sick, but we're here. <clears throat> I made a really good mac and cheese today. Yes, you did. It was a very, very good, delicious mac and cheese. Perry. Oh, you're, you're out of shot. I don't think I can get you into shot. Mm, probably not. No. No, I can't get her into shot. When do we get to poke them on? You know, a little bit. Just a little bit. We're talking first. We're hanging out. Hope uh, you all have been having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> really behind on Pokemon streams. Well, they're always there on YouTube yep. to watch. Uh, speaking of things coming out on YouTube, tomorrow is the five-year anniversary of Animation Pilgrimage. So that's exciting. We've Isn't been doing it, Animation Pilgrimage for five years, Tenille. I know! We keep talking about it, but it's still just kind of like, whoa. Five years is a long time to be doing a project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that episode will be coming out tomorrow on the YouTubes. Oh, and then we're back to regular streaming schedule. So that's good. And with it being July, I think we're like a month away from actually starting 1982. Or we got delayed. We got delayed. So, um... I think we still have closer to 10 movies to catch up on. So I, I think we still have a couple months until we get to 1982. Damn it! <laughs> <coughs> uh, Real question, are we going to be watching Plague Dogs before the end of the year? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Don't know until Plague Dogs happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, September's more likely. More likely to be September. <clears throat> I'm going to let Tenille finish eating and then we can get started. Mm -hmm. We hung out with people and had a nice lunch and it was good. We did. We had hamburgers and hot dogs, my mac and cheese, deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. Some delicious deviled eggs. For anyone who doesn't know, I like making deviled eggs instead of with regular mustard. I like to make them with honey mustard. 
So it makes them just a little bit sweeter. Yeah, I actually like them. Yeah, you're not normally into deviled eggs. I, I don't like regular deviled eggs, but yours with the honey mustard, absolutely mwah, delicious. Yeah. I love them. I, I, I can eat so many of them. <laughs> we can get the good old crunchy audio again. What? Oh, the video game. The video game crunchy audio. I understand now. Because the game lags. Yeah. <laughs> can you de mail me the deviled eggs, please? No. <laughs> I don't think they'd last. Luckily, you can make them really <laughs> easily at home. Mm -hmm. It's egg. Boil your eggs. Mm -hmm. Peel shell the egg. Yeah, peel your eggs, slice them in half, take the egg yolk out, and then with the Whisk egg... Whisk the yolk with a fork so that it gets really fine and powdery. Mm -hmm. Then you add in honey mustard and Miracle Whip. Mm -hmm. And then just mix all that up until it's a good consistency. And then dollop that back into all of the egg halves. Yep. And then and you if just you want to add any seasonings to it, you can add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of paprika. Mm-hmm. And the paprika you put on top too, right? Yep. I forgot y'all use Miracle Whip. Of course. Of course we use Miracle Whip. All right, let's go Mayo, ahead. Miracle Whip, it really doesn't matter to me. Boop. Here we are in the video game. I'm going to go ahead and unmute it, too. What's this sound like? Right, quiet undertones. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, our team of spinch, chimpkin, french fries, juice, piping, and knife. <laughs> ah. Fan art? No, no fan art today. We, we usually do fan art on Saturday. Yeah. We usually do fan art on Saturdays. It's just we've done it on Mondays a couple of times recently-ish just because we've Forgot have, to do it on Saturday. Either forget to do it on Saturday or <laughs> we're doing <coughs> other things on Saturdays. So yeah. there's a lot of cool new fan art and you'll see it on the breaks. But that usually happens on Saturdays. There was a ton of fan art. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how's the team looking? Just got them all healed. Mm-hmm. 39, 40, 40, 40, 40, and 42. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. God, it's been multiple weeks since we played this, so... Look at the way I walk. What is this? Uh, it's a Wimpod. Oh! It's just like flat on the ground facing up. I'm going to assume. Uh, first. no, I think it's the other way. No, okay. <clears throat> oh, we recently restarted our Animal Crossing Islands, as y'all know. Mm hmm. And on my island, it just will not stop raining. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Snap! So. I think you fought everybody. I think I need to, like, go inside? Yeah. I think, I think we're finally ready to head inside the building. Into the shady house. I'm, I'm an incomplete grunt. This is the only place for me in the world. Team Skull so much. They have mm -hmm. so much personality. They're so fun. Definitely like the best villain team mm -hmm. Pokemon has had ever. Yeah. 
it's not much of a challenge. Because it's just so tongue-in-cheek. So I think today we're going to be doing a lot of plot. That sounds about right. Okay, Salandin, Salandin, poison fire. So you are still good to keep attacking with your psychic psycho cut. I also think Salandin's a really cool Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Very cool Pokemon. <coughs> I love that it can actually poison steel types. Like that's that's its ability. Mm -hmm. it, it's a good touch. Oh, uh, ghastly. Uh, you can still continue to kill it with the moves you have. Okay. Psychic is super effective, and dark is super effective. Dark would be the same type attack bonus as well. Well, let's switch things up then. Oh yeah, and I guess for anyone who might have missed it, this last Sunday, a new Drawing a Blank came out. Yeah, so yesterday. Pokemon themed. Yeah, Pokemon themed Drawing a Blank where you drew your Pokemon White team mm -hmm. from memory. Yeah. And then I tried to correct you <coughs> also from memory. So like we didn't use any reference. So, you know, it was kind of a disaster. It was great. Boss is a complete bully, but I'm an incomplete grunt. Sometimes I want to smash the world, but I'm always afraid of it. Deep man. Also get a therapist. <laughs> Lady. And we'll want to go like in all of the different rooms here and stuff. Okay. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of items and other people to fight in all the rooms. Hilarious video. I loved it. <laughs> I was screaming about Cryogonal. <laughs> I still feel so betrayed about that. <laughs> You're like, I think this is correct. And I'm like, that's completely wrong. <laughs> I just, I really thought I had it. All right, Marini is poison water. So Psycho Cut is super effective. I really like that format too, where you like drew the Pokemon completely from memory and uh -huh. then I come in and try to correct it. Yeah. So like, yeah. I, I definitely think we'll do more of those like that. <laughs> I can see us doing the the second part soon. So like oh, black and the, white too. Yeah, white too. Yeah. Cause that was your team, right? White and white too. Mm-hmm. Especially since I'm like... Now, I think like... you could check this bed and take a nap. Oh. Oh, uh, maybe not. It's Pokemon flirt for clinging to the sheets. Dude. No. What I also love about this team is it feels like just like... Guzma has adopted all these street kids. Oh, that was, there was a note you could read. Oh. This month's secret password is beat up. Beat up. Okay. Limited Bone says, okay, I went back to watch the fan art from the other day and I'm so happy my homie Winter decided to also draw the deflated Pelipper with the spider wingle. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh-huh. Ice Stone. <laughs> that would be used to evolve uh, Alolan... Nine Tails Sand and Sand Slash, yeah. Okay. Hey. What's wrong with him? Why does he keep staring at me? Does he see how hot I am or something? <laughs> yeah. You're doing great, kids. I guess it's this door. Dude, that Guzman never got a Z-Ring is a sort of handicap. Cause he's too strong already. So sorry. Gonna fight ya. Fight ya? <laughs> oh. 
I'm going to be honest. I don't really remember the chain of events here at the end of Sun and Moon. This game. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know some things that happen, but I don't remember the specific order and how they connect together. I mean, do you really remember the specific end events of any Pokemon game? Eh. Sometimes. I guess there are quite a few that you've played several times. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh no. I would also say go with the Dark Slash, because it's same type attack bonus. Mm. <clears throat> Snapped out of confusion already. Awesome. Something something Nebby, something something Lusamine, something something Elite Four. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, every la collecting every last shard of Buginium Z and Alola for Mr. Guzma. Also that Mr. Guzma could be sure to be the strongest bug Pokemon user around. This month's Tapu Coco password. Tapu Remember, a true Team Skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no. <clears throat> okay. So beat up Tapu Coco, no. No. Yeah. Man, several passwords. All right, I think we just go upstairs. Ooh, Hello. A move. Slud bomb. That's a good, powerful poison move. Also, can I sleep in this bed? No. But this one looks so comforting and inviting. You this know, room's I so clean. I think this room is where the, the one girl, uh, like the other leader of Team Skull. Yeah, the leader girl. This is where she hangs out. You should see if Sludge Bomb is something anybody on our team wants to learn. Okay. Let's see. Sludge Bomb. Well. What? That is not who I expected, and they don't want that move. Okay. Because they are a physical attacker. Yeah, Plumeria. That's her name. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. OMG. Please don't tell me that my skull tank, that's my skull tank you're wearing. Uh, no wonder it stinks. It is the same design, though. It does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyways, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Um, hello. All our names are Grunt. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a boy. I can't believe he was eavesdropping on us. I guess we'll have to teach him a lesson. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, you still have a super effective move here. Because you have X Scissor. Nice. Knife is just gonna take out in full place. Yeah, Knife has just got like moves to take out pretty much all of the team. Skull Pokemon? Team Skull Pokemon. Hmm. Except for bugs. Doesn't have anything for bugs. Mm. <clears throat> How embarrassing. I guess I really am just a grunt. Whoa, that was like so uncool. I'll get revenge for you while still wearing your skull tank. And they were girlfriends. And they were girlfriends. And roommates. Yes. Knife best boy? Yeah, I think Knife is probably best boy. I don't know. We've had a team, like, 
They're either really good or we never use them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my god, they were roommates. Well, goodbye, rat. <laughs> <gasps> it survived. It survived. Wow. And then it just avoided the attack anyways. <laughs> oh my god. Just gals being pals. Maybe Misfit, I don't think I said anything about juice. What does that have to say about <laughs> you and your opinions on juice? <laughs> <sighs> Piping. What is this? Too severe! Ugh. Oh, her team <laughs> skull tank was too tight for me. It's so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. I made up my mind. I'm gonna get rich and famous and buy as many skull tanks as I want. Hey, so you think peeping in people's rooms is in good taste? He has a point. But also you have a Pokeball and you know what I want. I'm gonna steal from you, buddy. Momentous! Cute baby. Knife is still super effective. <laughs> Look at all the Wii U's they have in here. Yeah. Like those are Wiimotes and like the game pads. And the game pads. Well, this is obviously their gaming room, I guess. <laughs> obviously. Oh, this one's... Secret password is Galissapod. Oh How many God. secret passwords have you guys got? Beat up, Tapu Coco, Galissapod, no. An uninvited guest. Do you have an invitation? They have Smash Bros tournaments? Of course. <laughs> That's obvious gang culture. Just playing Smash Brothers. Right, yeah, just playing Smash Bros. That's together. all that, that's all that's all gangs do, right? Yeah. That's o it. Only play Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. Everybody gets their smashes together. Well <laughs> probably just yeah. <coughs> Drowsy, you're super effective. <laughs> they just send out their Pokemon and you pull out a fucking knife. <laughs> Yeah, Sweet buddy. Jesus, just ripping through everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here as a warning of your doom at my own hands. Ooh. Hey, yeah. Uh, greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Master Guzma, then give me the three secret passwords. No. No. Good. Glad to see you've got no bones about obeying the sacred traditions. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, maybe say yes. Yes? <laughs> All right, the first password. Which move does Master Guzma like best? Beat up. Then tell me what's uh, the second password. What Pokemon does Master Guzma like best? Galissapod. And what is the third password? What drink does Master Guzma like best? Tapu Coco. Hell yeah, he's a hot coffee, a hot cocoa guy. Yeah. So you think the passwords are beat up, Galissapod and Tapu Coco. Are you sure about that? No! Bwahahaha! -ha -ha -ha. You know all of Master Guzma's favorite things. You even knew to say no at the end. Yeah, you're one of us, Bonehead. If you want an audience with Master Guzma, then follow the path out on the roof. I think that's the only way we can go right now. I see two more guys <clears throat> over there, Well, though. yeah, I think we're going to loop around and get to them. <clears throat> uh. Uh, so to the right. <laughs> All the grunts getting hot cocoa at night and getting tucked in by Plumeria. <laughs> yeah, so I think to the right is the way to go, but I think we can go to the left here for some extras. Uh, maybe not. No. Nothing to pick up either. Oh, nice. Hey ya! Oh, looking for a romantic spot, huh? Looking for a battle in a romantic spot. Oh. You'll never guess. <laughs> I'm super effective. <laughs> Get him! Uh oh, he's faster. Oh no! Oh! Ooh, knife! <laughs> oh. All right, I think we need to swap out. Yeah. All right. Knife. Um. Uh, uh. Crowley is psychic flying. No. Poison flying. Poison flying. Uh, so, um. It's weak to rock. Electric. Sh I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, rock electric. Also, uh, ice. You can also just use juice or chimkin for good powered attacks. Get in here. Big blast. Got a crit, even though we really didn't need it. I think it's so strange that the Toucanon has blue legs. Well, I think it makes sense. I think toucans normally have blue legs. Really? I think so. Or maybe they have, like, dark gray? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, you are obviously maxed out. You are also maxed out. So deviant art. <laughs> I love them. Sin Squad videos. Hey, is that who I think it is? I mean, there's no reason they two can't have blue legs. Gray legs, yeah. No, Sin Squad videos. Isn't that Sin Squad? Isn't that? Yeah. That's Cush Fuddles? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Okay, so these two are not maxed. Change my name because I'm a goof. Nice. 
Alright, let's get out of here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are doing well. We're actually feeling good. Yeah. Like, we're still Despite coughing. We're our... still coughing a little bit, but other than that, like, we're feeling pretty good. Yeah. I think it was a good idea to come here, or maybe it would have been better not to. I think you know the answer inside you. Well, thanks for having confidence in you me. You think it's a good idea to go in there? Man, you don't know fear, do you? Hey, before you go in... Ah! Heal. Okay. Because, uh... Knife is a... A wee bit beat up. Just a wee bit. Alright, we're good. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Look there at it his is. throne! Mm -hmm. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma's here! I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the Pokemon. Oh, young goose, how sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. <laughs> and you came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you just watch your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can't fix you. Sir, that's violence. I'm gonna call the CPA. Nerd has 141.4 thousand. <laughs> Flower petals. <laughs> you can name a few Pokemon. He only has two Pokemon? Yeah. Guzma, come on. First up, Golisopod. <laughs> Road to one million. <laughs> Golisopod has Sword Stance, Razor Shell, and First Impression. First Impression could hurt quite a bit. Well, it's oh, try Night Slash. We avoided it. Awesome. Yeah. Go knife! Stab him! That was a crit. Do it again. The only way to steal petals, quote unquote, is if, if we ran more poles. Yeah, like, so if one of the mods wanted to set up a pole about something, you guys could all put your pedals into it, and then whoever wins the poll, whichever side wins the poll, gets all the pedals. <laughs> and the mods can do that whenever they want. I have no control over them. It's just, I know most of the time they're just sitting ah! watching. Oh, <gasps> ooh. Nice. Don't call us out like this, Wit. It's fine. Now, yeah, I guess that's important to know. You are a dark type, so you'll reek to bug, so it's... Surprising you lasted that long. Chimkin can use flying moves and kill that thing. The knife has been dulled. Drill pick is faster than beak blast, by the way. Yeah. But beak blast is like the signature move. It feels wrong not to do it. <laughs> Ice car has 250,000 pedals. <laughs> my, my. Forty-one. All right, back to Golisopod. Can we keep going? I mean, you can try. If it hits you, you might die, though. Hey! There you go! Hey! 
Although, Guzma, I mean, come on, dude. We're at the end of the game. You should have at least four Pokemon. <laughs> In yeah, yeah, I gotta admit, that was great. In Ultra Sun and Moon, he has three. <laughs> Guzma! <laughs> the point of the game is to have a team of six. <laughs> I feel like in order to make Pokemon battles more fair, you and your opponent should only be allowed to use the same number of Pokemon. Mm hmm So, the like... The anime actually does that sometimes, where it's really? like... A gym battle, it's like, I'll use three Pokemon, so you can use three Pokemon as the challenger. Yeah, like, yeah. why don't they do that? And then, you know, by the time you do get to the Elite Four, they all have a team of six, so you're mm -hmm. using your whole team. Yeah. Guzma! What's wrong with you?! Yo, give the Pokemon back to the kid, now! It just bites your leg. Yeah, it just bites your ankle. <laughs> ah! I hate these things! I'm gonna beat you down one of these days. No matter whose help I need to do it. You just come in here and the ferret is just like ripping these two guys apart and they're like, help! Oh <laughs> god! You don't battle. This was a mistake! <laughs> Anyways, you should grab up a guinea and see. Oh, that's what all these are. Yep. Look at this throne. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Excuse me, B. Hi. B -b but you're not the boss. What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this interaction before. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it again? The arms of the chair look like they've been slammed countless times by angry fists. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's really cute. I love the extra touches. Alright, and now they've just left. I think you might be able to fly from here. Oh, uh, wait, no, this isn't how I fly. Uh, oh, I guess not. Can't call Charizard back. What if I used an escape rope? Because they gave me one. That's true, you might be able to use that. Uh, I don't think it'll be in this pocket. Probably this one. There is so much shit in Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, that's what they tried to do in Sword and Shield, is get rid of some of it. Yeah, but they added new shit. Yeah, they added even more new shit. Wait. What? Oh, I guess that is technically outside. You could probably fly from there. Or you could just run out this way. It's, uh, the the uh, entrance is right uh, there. <laughs> no, he still uh, can't call Charizard. Oh, oh because we okay. need to talk to this guy. Gotcha. What are you doing? Have I got you to thank for this? Bites his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these things. The thing must have been scared half to death. And it's glad to see a wretch like me. What a lot of hassle. A trial goer, huh? Figures. What does Sloth say? Nunguk say. What a hassle. Look, I'm not gonna fight someone who's taken on Team Skull. I healed your Pokemon up, so go. Just go. What's your problem, dude? He's a police officer. Oh, that's his problem. He was also used to be a member of Team Skull. I think of it gets course. brought up at some point. Though, looking around now, seems as though there are fewer Team Skull folks around today than usual. Huh. I guess some of them might have run off after seeing their boss get beat. No, 
Orchidamia. I actually like ferrets. I think ferrets are really cute. I just don't like this thing. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Nanu. And here comes the noise oh, again. Oh, and here comes the noise. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that was me. Oh, that And here comes the noise again. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so sorry. You must have been so scared, huh? Thanks, Jean. Really? You're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're keeping a good eye on things here. What else do you stay here for if you're not putting up with Team Skull shenanigans? Ow. <laughs> the rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay the, this close to Team Skull after all. <gasps> Paradot. No, well, she was over here just a little bit ago. I think she really wants out because we have the door <laughs> shut. Well, that's what you say. But it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? You could depend on the AFA Foundation if you look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts. But you stay here and look after them, huh? Huh? Come on, young goose. Let's get you back to Aether House. Cute. Bites her ankle. That bites her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back and see you again soon, Uncle. <laughs> She's all lovey dovey rubbing on you. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> no one's asking you to. Hello, bye. Then come by the AFA house when you're done. Awala. Pokemon tucked up in, in their Pokeballs. Team Skull locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. Okay. Can we fly now? Yes. Yes. All right, so we're flying. We're going all the way back down here? Yes. Okay. Dang. Good thing I can fly. Alola region? Never heard of her. It's Awoa. Awoa. Awoa? What's this? <laughs> Finally get a tapu coco. Kibi, you want in? Okay, Kibi's coming in. <laughs> One cat leaves, another cat enters. A door was opened. Passage must be done. <laughs> <sighs> Give me my beans and my rare candy. <laughs> What? He didn't give me a rare candy this time. No, he gave you, uh, something else. There's a few different items that he'll, he can randomly give you. Yeah, but I've been getting a ton of rare candies from him. Yeah. This time you got an item that heals any status ailment. All right. <clears throat> Back to the Aether Foundation, I guess. That what this is up here? Yeah. I thought Aether Foundation was Or not the Aether The island. Aether House. Oh, okay. Wait. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. Well, all right. <laughs> well, home. We brought young goose with us too. Bites somebody's ankle. Bites the child's ankle. 
<laughs> You're home! <laughs> it's fine, my leg's paralyzed anyways. I can't feel it. Ooh, uh, oh, what's going on in here? Hi, Jean. I'm sorry. I, I can't make myself smile right now. But why? What happened? Miss Lily. She's gone. <laughs> Several hours earlier. A week ago. <laughs> multiple weeks ago. <laughs> so we've been gone that long. You people. Not gonna dis disappear this time, huh? Seems like maybe the tall tales we hear about you are wrong. That was different. Nebby and I both... I were both in trouble. That was the only reason why I used its power, so we both could escape with our lives. I know that I'm not capable of much myself, but I'm not... I'm, I will not make it use that power again. I'm determined to not let that happen. That's why this time I'll do whatever I can on my own, even if I do find myself in trouble again. Yo, girl, you know you're in trouble right now, right? Dumb, spoiled little princess. It's fine. There's nothing more for us to take from you. Which reminds me, maybe we're not the only ones around here who could be called Pokemon thieves. Is, th is that what you are, huh? A thief? Please, there's no need to hurt anyone else here. I will go with you willingly, wherever you want. Look at the kid smiling right behind her. <laughs> I love chaos. <laughs> Plumeria lady, Plumeria lady came back as soon as uh, Acerola had left. What? I'm supposed to be a trainer. Yeah, you seem really bent out of shape about it. Ow. Hi, Yoshi. Welcome. But when it came down to it, Lily had to protect me. Lily, who's not even a trainer to begin with. Did I hear that right? It was Lily who took Cosmog? Gah, hey, you know who Lily is? How? Come on. <laughs> uh. Obviously, my sister. <laughs> you all are so useless and weak that now Cosmog is... Lily is... Ugh. I'll show you how angry you make me. Dude, not the time. Fight me. Yes, we are feeling better. Thank you very much, Yoshi. Lady in. <laughs> Lady and you can kick my ass any day. <laughs> Lily's fucking gone. Alright, another gold bat. Good night. See, look, even Gladian has three Pokemon. <laughs> oh dear. That was quite the powerful acrobatics. We should swap. French fries is the best option here. It resists most of his moves, and it has a super effective move of its own. Oh, and we slowed it down. Haha. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be dead, but whatever. Yeah, but it just means we are more likely to actually go, go first. first and not get hit again. All right, next up, Sneasel. Dark Ice type. Quad weak to fighting moves. Uh, weak to bug and rock and fairy. Give Pipe a chance to come out. I don't think it actually has any of those moves types. Well, not even a fairy? No, we've not found the TM 
damn. So... Well... <laughs> oh, and it even has a super effective move on us. Cool. Didn't do a whole lot, though. Ha! Take that! And now it's in love with us. Well, it did raise our special attack. Well. Yeah. I like how you're using essentially the same moves against each other. Uh-huh. You think I got them? I don't know, actually. Let's see. Oh. Uh -huh. You just barely survived. Oh, no. No. All right, now you got to swap out. Okay. Okay, Chimkin, Juice. All right, Juice. Look how gray the sky is outside. Oh wow, yeah. It's very dark out there. Yeah. Scald is your best move. These Pokemon names are fantastic. Absolutely. It's all thanks to the viewers like you. Oh, you guys, <laughs> all you to the did this. Like you. <laughs> Knife wants to learn me first. Um, it Probably essentially not. uses it uses whatever move the opponent's about to use, but does it first. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Type no. Weak to fighting moves. Use Chimkin. Because Chipkin still has the Brick Break. Brick Break! Because Type Deep Null blast. is just normal type. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Honestly, if you wanted to use Beat Blast once so that it would probably get burned, that's not a bad idea. And then follow up with a Brick Break. Okay. Because it's probably not going to die in one hit. Oh, don't avoid. That won't burn it. Well. <laughs> Crush Claw. Shut up, pow. I love Type Null and Silvoli. I just wish you could get it before the end, like before the post game. It's just too powerful otherwise, like, which is why they don't. Mm-hmm. Huh, how annoying. What is wrong? That was wrong that with me. That was wrong with me. I shouldn't have dragged you into a meaningless battle like that. But I told you both. I told you that Cosmog would bring disaster to all of Alola. I have to get it back from them. We'll leave from the fairy tournament. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. So the only question is, are you ready to come now or not? Yeah. Let's go. Good. Let's go. <laughs> I'm here. I am Oren Guru. I can't believe Gladian took us by the hand and ran us out the door. And then we got <laughs> on a boat together. <laughs> My dreams come true. So, we're waiting for how? Uh, yeah, he'll come. Yeah, I guess so. He's a pretty interesting kid, I'll give you that. Growing up in the Great Kahuna's shadow and still trying to stand up to Hala as an equal? I couldn't do it. What do you want? Officer Nanu? If only Team Skull could have just kept themselves and their troublemaking to Poe Town. Why'd they have to go make this all this fuss, huh? You there, boy. I'm an island kahuna, you know. Battle against me. 
Wait, what? It'll be a good experience for you if you're really hoping to master the island challenge. But... Okay. My teams are... Don't take it too serious now. Did y'all heal my team? Grand trial time, let's go. I like how he just kind of comes out of nowhere and is completely pointless. <laughs> Did right. y'all heal my team? Seems that way. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> Nanu uses dark type Pokemon. He starts with Sableye, which is only weak to fairy type moves, which we don't have. So you could probably just hit it with Night Slashes and stuff. Okay. No. Try again. Ow. You got this. Yeah. All right, next up is Crocker Rock, aka tip 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 tip, tip bounce. <laughs> tip 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 bounce. <laughs> so it's ground dark type. Uh -huh. So it's weak to a bajillion things. Including anything we've got? Yeah, it's weak to your bug move. Okay. Oh, it lowered our attack. No. I mean, of course this man is Depression Incarnate. He went from being a part of a cool team skull to being a police officer. I think the team skull thing is actually wrong. I just thought it was something, but it sounds like no. Oh. Well, I'd be depressed if I was a police officer, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, Juice is also super effective here, so is Spinch. Poor Knife. Knife does not have a lot of defense. That is their big weakness. Whoops. I mean, he also has to deal with Acerola. <laughs> well, that would make me not depressed. Looks like if Hakihiko were 50. <laughs> I love it. My punch ups would never, although he might. Yeah, he, <laughs> he probably, probably would. <laughs> Whirlpool is a bad move. Keep old moves. Wow. Persian, pure dark type. So it's weak to bug, fairy, and fighting moves. Get him. Does all of his Pokemon know Fake Out? I guess. Kind of seems that way. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Hmm. That was even a critical? Oh, dear. Who knows, maybe you'll survive. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah! We survive because we avoid the attack, because we're cheating by giving our Pokemon friendship points. <laughs> or affection points or whatever. You did it! You defeated the Island Kahuna. He smiled. Oh god. <laughs> My fish is dirty! Give 
juice a bean. I will. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, Pipe and Brown. Pipe and Brown. All right. Well, there we go. Get some more friendship points on those two. Well, shoot. Of course, I already knew you had the heart and the strength to Storm Team Skull Stronghold. But I didn't know you were this good. And your Pokemon worked real hard for you. Let me fix your team up for you. Thanks. Here, this is yours. Grand trial complete. We got a Darkinium Z. Dark, Darkinium. If you want to do Dark Z power, you gotta do it like this. Did you throw out your hip? <laughs> <laughs> there. Congratulations or whatever. You're officially finished your Ula Ula trials. Cool. You got somewhere else to be, don't you? Try not to destroy the whole place. Oh, and you, boy. Gladian. Tell me. If you're really trying to get stronger, as you say, then what are you depending on Team Skull for? <sighs> Jean! Don't you dare say a word about this being fun. I won't. If I'd been stronger, Lily wouldn't have... I'm ready to do whatever it takes. So we can take back our smiles. <laughs> Fun adventure. <laughs> okay, how? <laughs> uh... But where was Lily taken? It couldn't be Poe Town. Jean was there the whole time. <clears throat> so you're not quite as dumb as you are naive. It'll be the Aether Paradise. Aether Paradise? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Team Skull Boat. <laughs> Aether Paradise Harbor. We made it this far without running into trouble. But I don't like how quiet it is. You two, stay alert. But why would Lily be here at Aether Paradise? She just will be. Ah, this guy. Fine, so what are we going to do? What do we look for? I guess we take the elevator. You guess? We're following this guy? He doesn't have a plan! <laughs> Things are pretty crazy. You want to go back to the main island? No, that's nah, okay. We're good. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, I feel like I'm at a summer camp again. <laughs> Whoa! This is getting pretty intense. All right. You want a go, juice box? Go down here. There should be an. Oh no, nothing. Okay, I thought there would be an item there. All right. <coughs> hey. Uh, Intruder spotter, I'll fight you and have to wipe you out. Wow, it turns out the Eighth of Foundation is evil or something. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> who, who would have ever thought?
Hey look, it's some french fries. I really do think that the story of this game has just as much potential to be as good as like Gen 5 story. Mm -hmm. If it had just spent like a little bit more time on it. Just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, none of our moves are very effective, so it might be actually be better to switch over to Juice. Juice can destroy them. Destroy. Really bad. I don't have that move. No, because it's bad for us. It's a special attack, which oh, is but why it we did. It looked cool. It looks cool. It's a good. It is a strong special attack, but you're a physical attacker, so it's bad for that particular Pokemon. Mm. That's why we don't have it on there. A Sligoo! Mm. Weak to Fairy, Baby. Dragon, and Ice type moves, which I don't think we have any. So we want to hit it with something that'll do normal damage. So, Knife would have moves that could do that with Night Slash and Psycho Cut. Uh, Juice is going to be resisted with most of its moves. I mean, we could also use, uh, we could use the bird, or our, our, our starter. We could use Metronome. We could. We could use Metronome. Hell yeah, we can use Metronome. <laughs> yeah! Metronome. <laughs> Oh, baby! Sing! Oh. It's alright, it's alright, we'll try again. Nothing happened, we're good. Metronome! Fusion Flare? Is that good? Yes. I mean, it's a very strong fire move that is a... <laughs> uh, like, it resists fire type moves and it's raining, so it did next to nothing. Uh -huh. But Fusion Flare is a legendary exclusive move. Oh. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Normally it would be, but it's raining and it also resists fire, so... Ooh, play rough, there we go. That is a fairy move, so same type attack bonus, and it's weak to it. Damn, nice. Good job, piping. My Charlie Brown is all wet. Can you please try him off? Can do. <laughs> Good grief. Get more friendship points with Charlie Brown. Piping Brown. Eat your beans. All right, <laughs> there we go. <coughs> I think there's <coughs> an item back here. No, okay. I thought for sure there was hey. one there. Fight me. Oh, she's a cool looking lady. Yeah. It's a doggo. Prettier. Pure normal type, so your attacks will do normal damage to it. Because we don't have any fighting moves on this Pokemon. Get him. Knife that dog. Nice. 
Got that crit. I think you mean knives. <laughs> knives. <laughs> Luminion. <laughs> Another one of your team members. Uh, so it's weak to grass moves or electric. Spinch. Yeah, Spence can do a thing. Bench, come on. All right, Spinch. <laughs> Oh, you couldn't even take him out in one go? No, it's only grass move is not that good. good it's still only it. like 55 power. Uh... Why does Spinch still not have Leaf Blade? I don't know. Aww. And it still doesn't level up either. <laughs> I like always how these bad guys never try to just, you know, like, hey kid, stop. <laughs> they, got, they got animals to do their job for them. Yeah, and then when the animals fail, they're just like, oh. <laughs> I think the assumed idea is the threat of violence of your animals upon their person is why they don't stop you. Yeah, I guess. It should be in one more level. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. Very soon, Spinch will have a good move, finally. What's Spinch's unique move? Shackle me to the bed or something? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's like Soul Shackle or something. It makes it so the opponent cannot switch out, and it's a ghost move. Spinch going hard. All right, so this is a dragon. So Night Slash and Psycho Cut and X Scissor will all do normal damage. Okay. Aww, that's so cute, Simon the Knight. Got my cat on my arm and just sneezed. She gave me a small meow and say bless you. Ah, <laughs> it's very cute. Does this thing evolve? Yes, it evolves into Salamence, which is a dragon flying type. It's like oh, a blue dragon with red blue wings. With the red wings. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Man, I would never guess that. Mm-hmm. It starts as Bagan, and then Shelgon, and then Salamence. And Man. the first form wishes to fly that it so badly that it throws itself off cliffs. So what does the second form have to do with anything? Uh, it just kind of like, it's thrown itself off cliffs so much it's got a hardened shell around it. And then eventually it evolves and just becomes a majestic dragon. Hmm. It evolves at like 55 or something like that. Yikes. Mm hmm Drum peak. Drum peak. So, uh, weak to electric moves or ice or rock. So, pipe I it. I have an electric move. Not on this one. Yeah, you do. Y yeah, but it's a, it, it just paralyzes the opponent. Oh, well, we'll do that. And then we'll switch. <laughs> Yeah, technically you can SOS, uh, like do SOS battles and get a Salamence at level 10 in this game. I wonder what... Which is hilarious. Pokemon, like through its evolutions, takes up the most levels. You know what I mean? You mean like... So like, let's say it evolved at like level 10... 30 and 50 like that would be like 40 levels of oh you mean the difference between like its first stage evolution and second stage evolution right like what um, one has the biggest middle stage well just like the biggest amount of levels so it would only work for pokemon that have three hydreigon okay what is it 
It evolves at like level 67. Well, what is its other evolutions? Because if they're not low, then that doesn't well, matter. Okay, so you want to know how... <laughs> so you're literally asking for literally the middle evolution. How, like what Pokemon stays in its middle form the longest if there are three stages? No, I'm asking what... So like subtract what it evolves at at the end with what it begins with. Yes. Yeah. We're saying the same thing. Okay, okay. We're saying the same thing. You're essentially asking how long does it stay in its middle stage? Because yeah. there's a lot of Pokemon that evolve at like 35 and 55 or 45 and 55. Uh-huh. Which, so you got some pretty high ends there, but it's only like 10 to 20 levels uh -huh. that it stays in that middle form. Okay. And that's essentially what you're asking for. Right. I don't actually know what Pokemon stays in its middle form the longest. Oh. If it has set levels where it evolves. Because technically you could do something like Porygon, where you could evolve it at level 1, and then evolve it at level 100. <laughs> right. And then... But that's not what I'm asking. That's yeah. That's cheating. Exactly. I think Sunil is also factoring in when you catch the Pokemon. Hmm. I mean... You could do that. Well, okay, then it would be Braviary and... Braviary in this game, because you can catch it at, like, level 15 and then evolves at level four, 55, 55 or yeah. something. Welcome back, Snap. I'm sorry that Mal walked on your keyboard and destroyed your computer. Mal Mal? How rude. What a rude little Kimpton. Oh, prize money. You finished the fan art? Awesome. We oh. will see it. Saturday. We'll, well, yeah, we'll show it off on stream Saturday. I sometimes go looking at the fan art early. <laughs> Parasect? What a terrible starting Pokemon. I do like how these guys just have totally random Pokemon because the the idea behind it is it's like they just find random Pokemon that are suffering and take them in and help them. So they don't have any sort of theming to their Pokemon. Anyways, X Scissor is super effective here. Okay. Isn't it bug type though? Yeah, but bug doesn't resist bug. It's bug grass. Mm. And so we're exploiting its grass type weaknesses. Gotcha. Vabrava is a dragon ground type. Okay. So if we had ice, that would be super, super good. We don't. But we don't. Um, what about juice? Because water's good against ground, right? Yeah, but dragon resists water, so it do normal damage. Mm. If we had fairy moves, it would be good. What else is good against ground? Uh, grass, but again, also resisted by... Like, honestly, I think we just kind of hit it hard with whatever moves we want that do normal damage. Metronome! Yes! <laughs> Mal did it again! <laughs> Mal! Yeah. She's trying to send us a message. <laughs> That's the lo winning lottery number. Metronome. I would never guess that that thing's dragon. Mm-hmm. It's a dragon fly. <laughs> oh, okay, cute. And when it evolves, it evolves into Flygon, which is more actual dragon shaped. Okay. Metronome. Metronome. I think we just killed ourselves.
What the heck was that move? <laughs> Memento, it harshly lowers the opponent's att attacking stats, but kills you. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, Finch, <laughs> come on out. Uh, I like how Kazuyoshi and Simon Midnight Nico were both asking for self destruct or explosion, <laughs> and we got a different kill ourselves move. What's gonna be my best move here? Shadow, Shadow ball. ball. Shadow Ball. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was great. I feel like it has, Memento has some uses in competitive, maybe. You should stop pretending like you know anything about competitive. Well, it doesn't have any uses against like PC, like computer players, that's for sure. Right. So that's the only option available. Ooh, Drift Blim, it's a ghost type. We can hit it with our ghost moves. Ha. It's fine if the Pokemon is going to die anyways. Yeah. It's like, if your Pokemon has like just a couple health left and you know it's faster than the opponent, that would be a time to use Memento. If you know it's not gonna kill the opponent with an actual attacking move. Well, that was the best of a battle. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <coughs> Gotta res your Pokemon. Yeah. but they can just switch out to get rid of the stat changes. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's just kind of a bad move then in general. So what do you use the towel for? Uh, the towel? Yeah. I think is for if the Pokemon's wet. No, you use the blow dryer. Oh, mud. If they are covered in mud specifically, you use the towel. Ah. <coughs> okay, let's uh... Kill it for Pokemon. Uh, revive is up. <laughs> I never got drugs. I know. I don't know where the drugs are. Where are the drugs in this game, guys? I wonder if we passed it and we just didn't realize it. All right, don't go on the elevator yet. There's like yeah. a lot more to this area that we should look around because oh, I yeah. think there might be one or two items hidden about. There's plenty on it. The city where Olivia lives? Oh, <laughs> okay. So we have been there. Okay, so I could go back and get drugs? Yeah. I might, we might do that. We might have to wait until we're... Well, they told me I could go back. I guess that's true. So I might kind of like finish up this floor and then go back and get some drugs. Okay. Psycho Cut. Take out that bell bottom. I kind of love how... Holy shit. Ow. <laughs> I like how so many of these guys have had, like, your team members. I mean, I've had a lot of team members at this point. It's true. Can I just say how thrilled I am yet again that I somehow managed to put bell bottoms on no bottom? Like, drawing-wise? Because, like, the monkey has no ass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to put a dance on a thing that has no ass. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Well, I think I think you've taken out all the trainers on this floor now. So if you just want right, well, to run around to see, a look. I'm gonna see any more. Hello. <laughs> These are your old team members. They were rescued from the void. <laughs> Ooh, toxic. 
I'd love to see you put pants on more Pokemon. <laughs> well, obviously you guys need to like do name more, another name more Pokemon after pants. Yeah. Uh, You're, were you gonna check to see if Toxic would be good for anyone? Yeah. I think most Pokemon can learn Toxic. Yeah, everybody can learn it. It's just who would use it. I almost want to say the fish. I was gonna say that too. Yeah, like I think the fish could use a little bit more move diversity. Yeah. We could get rid of either Pound or Aqua Ring because we're yeah. not really using either of those. Let's get rid of Pound. There we go. Because the fish is fast and kind of tanky, so it's one of the Pokemon more likely to be able to get a Toxic off and then still do something else. Mm -hmm. Ooh, red hey. candy. I think this is easily the game I've gotten the most rare candies in. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. You've killed everybody. Murdered them. Oh, things are pretty crazy around here. You want to go back and get a juice box? Yes, please. I need to go buy my hard drugs. I need drugs. For my Pokemon. Because they are cheap and effective. <laughs> the game hands them out like candy. Alright, so fly. Yeah. Uh, we're going to a different island. Um. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Not... Oh, uh, yes, that one, actually. Sorry. Paula? Uh, down here at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Bottom left. There. Coney Coney. Two drugs! At least that's what people were saying. That's TMs. Oh, what about this oh, place? This looks promising. No, this is like a spa treatment. Ups friendship. I don't care about that. Talk to the other person. Oh, incense? No, we don't want incense. That's for breeding purposes. Uh, check this side. This looks like TMs. Yeah, that is TMs. I think we've checked it before. Well, maybe. Yeah, none of those are really what we want. Okay. No? No. Maybe it's in one of these buildings here. And we like just this? Did... Yeah. It looks like a restaurant, though. Near the karate guy. Right. Back there? No, that, that, that way. Wait, the hiker? You've changed your mind, okay. What hiker? I hate this camera. What is with this camera? The hiker? What hiker? Try going in this building. This looks like a fishing house. None of you guys are gonna sell me drugs. I can tell that just by taking one look at you. Hiker? Is there a hiker? Oh, that guy. This guy. Do you sell drugs? Oh, he's the herb seller. Okay. What? Wow! Why is he? Uh... What? Dude, get a shop. Yeah. All right. So energy roots and revival herbs are the way to go. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> might be a bit excessive. That's probably. There bad. we go. 
and then just like max out on revival herbs. Yeah. He's where the karate guy is in Ultra. Okay. All right, now we can go back. Might as well heal my Pokemon while I'm here. True. The fun thing about herbs is that they're cheaper than uh, potions of like equivocal amount, like ability. And they also sell max revives, which you cannot buy normally. So they're fucking great. I think that y'all might lose your affection points. I don't know that it'll take away from your bonuses or not. No, 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 no. It, this affects friendship. All right, so we need to go up there to the right over here. That one, yeah. So feeding drugs fe affects friendship points, which is only useful for the move return and frustration and friendship evolutions. Affection points are from rubbing our Pokemons and getting the hearts with them, and those are perfectly fine and will not be affected by feeding them drugs. <laughs> Yoshi. Well, vending machine drinks are even more cost efficient. <laughs> Down here. Oh. Hey, cool dude. Let's go. Great transition. <laughs> really top notch. All right. Do you want to save? We haven't saved in a while. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't get what's going on here. Why would the Aether Foundation be attacking anybody? The air is already growing heavy. I have to do something. Hmm. Just like I thought. What were you doing here? There. Looks like outsiders can't use the main elevator to reach lower levels. I was afraid this might happen, but still. What a pain. We don't have any choice. We'll have to go up. I, Faba, am the Aether Branch Chief. The only one in the world. I am irreplaceable. And here you come back, uninvited. Like you don't know why. You of all people should know everything that happens in the Aether Foundation. Isn't that right, high and mighty branch chief? <laughs> Look at you. Living out in the world hasn't been kind, has it? But I'm still not telling you anything, and you of all people should understand why, Gladian. Hey, Jean. You know why being a trainer is so great? Because when you're battling, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. Everyone's equal at Pokemon battle. Oh, ho, is that right? Is that what you think? So you wish to battle me? Branch Chief Faba? The man who is Aether Paradise's last line of defense is to bat is to battle a mere child? As you will. He has one Pokemon. Dude. <laughs> and it's a hit! No! <laughs> okay. Well, we can knife the hell out of that. <laughs> Night Slash, super effective. Same type attack bonus. Gonna rip this thing apart. Well... Woo woo. Hi! <laughs> 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 
How can this be? How could this child? Maybe get more Pokemon, dude. Oh, hey, look at you, Gene. And Bob is real strong, too. No, he wasn't. No. Yeah, I agree, Gladian. So, as I said, Faba, you of all people know what I'm here for. Indeed. The world truly hasn't been kind to you, has it? Look how hard it has made you. <laughs> look how ripped up your jeans are. They came that way. If I you're got looking them this for way. Cosmog, I suppose it might be downstairs. Downstairs? Oh, yeah. Miss Wicky did say there was another <laughs> Wick. level. Wick did say there was another level farther down, didn't she? What do you do down there? Well, if you must know, I heard experiments are held down there. Like you don't know. Experiments aiming to tear the very boundaries of the world apart. We're a bit in a hurry, Faba. A lift would be nice. Why not? This is an act of kindness I can do for you thanks to my position as branch chief. Jean, Paul, if you're ready, let's head down. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. You go get that pizza spots. Save it. Everything looks the same. Oh, they haven't put it in the oven yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll go throw it in the oven. <laughs> Everything looks the same. Guess it's only been two years, though. Whoa, it's like a secret hideout. Don't get too excited, Hal. <coughs> though I guess it's better than freezing from fear and nerves. So where do we go now? There are two labs up ahead. I'll check the first lab, Secret Lab A. You two check out Secret Lab B. It's the second lab, down the hall. Why do you get the first one? Why do you know all this? Just focus, Hal. Think you can do that? I can't trust Faba. I'm sure you already told half the Foundation all about us. You didn't even answer my question. I know what it's gotta be, nerves, huh? I reckon that you're more afraid to be here than either one of us is, huh, Gladian? Here, Jean, you take this. We got a max revive. We just bought like 37 of those. <laughs> yeah. Well, he must be so scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this. All right, so I think that's the way to go. I was going to say, do you oh. want to check the other direction? Also, really like how my map is not very useful at all. I guess we can't go that way. Yeah. Alright. Do, 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 do. And here's Spawn will protect our secret lives. Ah, I love muck. So it is dark poison type. I don't know that we'll have anything we can use here. If anything, our bug move might do something, but I'm not sure. It says it's effective. Okay. Alright, so dark poison is going to be weak to ground moves. Yeah, I think ground is pretty much our best bet here. You know, we should be getting Earthquake through level up at some point. On French fries. Ooh. 
Will and I want to say before we beat the game. Well, I think it's level 50 or close to it. Okay. So probably. Hello, Gibby. Hey, buddy. Yes, soft boy. Soft baby man. Yeah. Hey, look, Tenille mud. Use that towel. Fish. Turn around, Hello, fish. fish. Get them friendship points for me petting you. Stop moving away! <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? It's a towel! <laughs> The beam. Eat the beam. It's very full, so. Oh, there we go! Max friendship! Yeah! That means Pipin is the only team member that's not at max friendship. Well, see if you can fix that. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Is Knife at mask max? Yeah, Knife leveled up real quick. Like, we got Knife and then we were petting them after pretty much every battle because it was raining in the area. So, like, it was just pets after pets after pets after pets. The only reason there's not that fear in the secret lives. Next, next, and next. I'll show you the paradise. <laughs> Bye, Mayday! Toodles! Toodles! Magneton! Ooh, a root beer float! I'm jealous! Sounds delish! Uh, we should be able to do normal damage to a Magneton. Yeah, Night Slash is regular damage. Is this electric steel? Yes. Okay. Ooh, that was quite good. Finally! We can get rid of Razor Leaf. Actually have a good move for once. Oh, let's see what Leaf Blade is. 90 power, 100 accuracy, high crit rate. Nice. Very good. Whew. There! Now the next time we use it in like, seven hours, it'll have a good grass move. <laughs> I'm currently working on development of a new Pikachu. Huh? I'm currently working on development of a new Pikachu. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I'm currently working. Okay, you know what? It's the time I'm going to get the quick take on a new Pikachu movie. It's just getting worse and worse. Oh, Whitney, look at that rainbow! Oh, shit! Holy cow, that's a rainbow! We could see it! Oh, and like the whole spectrum! That's awesome! Hell yeah! Rainbow! 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 It's so big and beautiful! Oh, I love that! 
It looks like a children's <laughs> picture book rainbow. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody post the gay heartless. That'll get rainbows in the yeah, chat. Yeah, rainbow! Rainbow heartless. Hey, Porygon too! Seriously, what's happening with that voice? They're well, they're wearing masks. Gone. You can't hear anything that they're saying. Yeah, like that. Yeah! Is the sun still out where you are? Yeah, yeah. kind of. Technically, yeah. it's very cloudy. It's starting to set. <gasps> you oh can God. see the rainbow from where you are? It's a double? <gasps> yeah, double rainbow in the sky. Oh hell yeah. Now I need to go, go, I go see if I can see the double. I feel like I can kind of see like, well, no, I don't really see it. Like uh, the very uh, light, light spectrum. Yeah, I don't see uh, the other one. Come on, Mike. Get him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I'm not even saying words. <laughs> I know. It's funny. Bye. It's not here. Don't even think about getting in here. Me and Null, we're more alike than we might look. We're both what we are made to be. I was like an ornament to my mother, wearing whatever she told me to wear. I want to know what Gladian wore before. Probably white. Yeah, like, it's probably like... A white, a uh, very white suit, suit. like children's like, suit, like with the little frill uh -huh. blouse kind of thing. Frill thing, no, no jacket, just like nice shirt with like capri pants, yeah, or shorts. Mm-hmm. Acting however she wanted me to act. No was crafted just as carefully. It was made just to, just to battle beasts in this room right here. Let me have one. Gimme, I want a type null. Ooh, there's a cell there. Not that it really matters. <gasps> Ghibli. What are you kids doing here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands. This research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or what. I'll send you <sighs> flying if you threaten it. Would you stop sniffing the cat? <sighs> I love sniffing cats. They do smell good, and he don't even care. He just, I guess, pet me. Keebly hairs up my nose. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Psycho Cut would be super effective against the Machoke. Cool. Oh, well. How thought the same thing. How's Alolan Pikachu is just like destroy? Ah, 
Uh, anything really. Night Slash. <laughs> you could I kill the right Chai. Right, 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 you. Well, there you go. Oh my goodness. He's purring. That is quite the purr, Kibi. He's falling over, too. Yes! You wanna purr for everybody? There's another world that can't be uh, brought about through idle talk. Got it? Absolute baby. Maybe an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm no expert when it comes to battling them. But the guys in Lab A next door, they're pretty experienced with battles. After all, they spent so long researching that uncontrollable Pokemon. Uh, hey, focus people! Where's Lily and Cosmog? We may have lost, but that doesn't mean we're gonna help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you could see that. Oh, bye. Come on, Jean, let's split up and look around. Maybe we'll find some clue. Okay, but... Boop! Wow, another Zygarde bit. <laughs> I think Probably this blue book. Ultra wormholes. Beyond the ultra wormholes that Professor Moan discovered lies a different dimension. By investigating the change in mass there, we can predict the existence of Pokemon-like life. We have dubbed them Ultra Beasts for now. Cosmog. Ooh. Cosmog is hypothesized to be a type of Ultra Beast that hails from another dimension. A dimension that we have named Ultra Space. When placed under sufficient stress, it reveals the powers to create and open up Ultra Wormholes in order to escape from its suffering. We are now working on a device that will allow us to manipulate the Ultra Wormholes created when Cosmog is subjected to extreme stress. Wait, so Cosmog might be an Ultra Beast? We should tell Gladian about this! I think Gladian already knows. Did you find anything? We learned a bit about Cosmog. Like, it might be an Ultra Beast or whatever. And if you stress it a lot, it can create Ultra Wormholes. Maybe to run away or something? If you stress it. If you hurt it. Is that what you mean? Is that why she ran away with it? But we didn't see any sign of it down here. Yeah. Thaba probably knew this would be a dead end. Did he outsmart us? Glanian never really explains anything, huh? Probably thinks it makes him look cool. Should we go after him? We all go, got into this together. Might as well see it to the end together. Yeah. Can you get in there now? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna tell us about Type Null? Suspicious looking deleted files. Would you look at them? File 2. BKP development record 2. Anti UB fighting life form B. Beast K. Killer. The president has approved the proposed budget for this development project, so it will be implemented. BKP development record number 5. So, Beast Killer project? I think so. Materials can, uh, for development have been collected from the Canalave Library in the Sinnoh region. Plans are being drawn up for the specifications of the type change program known as the RKS system. Work is underway in designing the specifications of special memories for the said system. BKP P Development Record 7 Collection of cells of all types for genetic modeling have been completed. Blueprints for the skeletal structure have been approved and incubation of the bioframe is underway. 
Development record 11. Dummy test for the RKS system program has been completed. Type has been successfully altered with all 18 special memories. The transplantation of the RKS system program to the models is underway. The BK's official name has been set as Type Full. Record 18. Production of three models have been completed. They are identified as serial number 01, serial number 02, and serial number 03. All three models rejected the RKS system upon initialization during testing. Shortly after these initialization effort errors, all three models of type full went berserk. Record 44. Models have been fitted to control ma with control masks to mitigate the effect of their rejection of the RKS system. Due to the implementation of these control masks, our RKS system initial initialization tests have failed. All three models of type full are to be cryogenically frozen for the rest of eternity. The names of these models have been changed from type full to type null. That's just mean. Mm-hmm. Something loaded on the screen. Would you like to take a look at it? Introduction. This is the blog of F, a branch chief worker in the Alola region. Title, Introduction. Are you interested in success, dear readers? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is F, and I am the elite self-made man. Here is my blog, and I will show you the way to succeed. Oh, yeah? Are you going to teach me how to pick up women? <laughs> Multitasking. This is blog of F, a branch. Yep, same thing. Multitasking. Currently, I'm working on the development of a special sort of ball, which I took over from my predecessor in parallel with another project. Seeing how well I multitask impress, uh, impresses my subordinates and increases their motivation. Showing how skillful you are is kind of on the job training for your underlings. Hedging risks. I once ventured to undertake a project without notifying my superior. I developed a device to restrain a dangerous life form in case it became necessary to do so. I had it made for hedging risks to protect myself, but for better or for worse, it was made public. It seems it, it, it is always essential to consider the risks before one takes ask action. Massaging the truth. My superior's family stole the results of our research and ran off. However, I have chosen to never blow this issue out of proportion. I will be only be reprimanded for my own mistakes, and surely my superior is also displeased with the actions of her family as well. When necessary, one must always be prepared to massage the truth to protect one's own position. It is not an exaggeration to say that this skill is vital for success. Alright, well, I feel like I learned nothing from that. Thanks, Faba. I mean, uh, presumably that was Faba. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I guess we don't get to go over there. Yeah. Hey, before we go any farther, do we want to take a break? Because we've been going for two hours. We have been going for two hours, and I actually think it's time to stop then. You want to stop? Yeah. Okay. Like, my body is tired. It's, it's saying, hey, you, relax. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. We've done a lot, and we are still recovering from sickness. So if yeah. you want to stop here, that's okay. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Well, I think that was very successful and good stuff. When we come back to this next week, we will finish up the... Aether Foundation stuff. Yeah. So I think here at the end... I'm we just have gonna... like a whole other island to go to, don't we? Yeah, we still have a whole extra island. I think we'll keep talking here for a little bit and we'll just let some of the fan art cycle through because yeah. there's some good fan art and I want to show it off. Mm-hmm. Consume food? Yeah, probably eat more of the delicious food that you made. Yeah. Uh, and I guess there is still that one burger out there mm -hmm. that we never ate. Short but good stream. Indeed, I would agree. It was a good stream. I think it was a good time. Uh, things that are coming up. Uh, to reminder that tomorrow is the fifth anniversary of Animation Pilgrimage, so mm -hmm. we're doing a regular episode. Yeah. But uh, we do talk a little bit about the fifth anniversary on that stream. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Um, 
Oh, it's raining. No, no, no that's fireworks. That's fireworks. It sounded like rain. Damn it. Okay. Well, um, what else was I going to say? Um, Wednesday, you're going to be back to doing uh, patron commissions. Yep. And then in the evening, we will be playing more Xenoblade. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, I'll finally be getting back to Warp Dart. It's been a while, mm -hmm. so I'm excited to do that. Uh, into Chapter 2? Yeah. Getting farther into Chapter 2. Because I got one page done, and then we stopped. Because we got, we got sick. all sick and stuff. Yeah. Um, so we'll be continuing on, on chapter two of Warped. Uh, and then Saturday is your birthday. Saturday is my birthday. Saturday is your birthday. Are we going to be streaming on your birthday? I don't know. Okay, we'll keep it open for now. Maybe we won't do Xenoblade. Maybe we'll do like a special birthday stream or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds cool. Yeah. So your birthday's coming up, so that's awesome. Uh, and then back on Monday will be more Warped Art and then more Pokemon. So that'll be fun. Uh, I think that's all of schedule stuff to talk about. Mm hmm. Anything else to talk about? No, I think that's it. Okay. All right. Well, we didn't get through all the fan art, but there's a lot of fan art in, a, a in there right art. now. I guess uh, in case anybody doesn't know, I started posting videos on TikTok. Oh, yeah. TikTok and YouTube shorts. Yeah. Um, there is a function in Procreate that like just automatically records a time lapse of your artwork. So I've just been doing some like art in my free time and uh, putting those up on TikTok. Yeah. So they're really good and I like them. And I'm happy that you're doing them. Yeah. Uh, I guess other things, if you guys want to make fan art that will show up on these break screens and stuff and want to just show us cool fan art, you can. Yeah. The links are in the descriptions of all of our YouTube videos and in the About tab here on Twitch, where you can do that. Uh, we also have a Redbubble account yeah. with a lot of cool art. A lot of the art that you do is up there, and we have a couple of things for Animation Pilgrim Branch, and there's some Pokemon stuff up on there, though I think a lot of it got recently taken down because Pokemon was going... The, the, the Pokemon company was going through and just wiping stuff again. Yeah. So... Some of that has been deleted. Mm hmm Um, what else? What else? I'm just, I'm bad for time. Uh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash Flowers. If you support us over there, we love it. We, we appreciate it so much. Even, and you can get art from me. Yeah, if you do one of the higher levels, you can get art from Tenille. You can just sign up once and get art and then cancel your... Patreon subscription, so it's or like... Or go to a lower tier yeah. or whatever. So, that, like, you could essentially just commission to kneel for one time and then be done. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can stick around. Even for just, like, $1 per month, you get access to our Discord server. If There's you a do lot $5, of... you can be part of the Patreon game days we do once a month. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, like, honestly, people on our Discord server are really chill and Super awesome. awesome. Awesome people. Yeah. Honestly. I love all of you guys that are in there. Yeah. It's a good place to hang out and talk about all kinds of different uh, fandom stuff and uh, other things like that. It's all good. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't all the art. Well, you might have to oh, no. refresh the file or something like that. Yeah. I don't think all the art actually cycled through. Well, either way. Either way. Let's wrap this stream Yeah, up. all right. I think we're going to go ahead and stop there. Thank you all so much for watching. That got most of the art through. And uh, we will talk to you all later. Thank you so much. Goodbye and good night. Good night. <laughs>